Hi, I'm Kevin Whalen. I'm the executive director here at the South Shore Country Club. I want to welcome you all today and I appreciate Harvard Media coming out here. The state came out with, uh, you know, restrictions on what we had to do to deal with COVID-19 when we opened back in May. Uh, we worked with the town and the Board of Health and the Selectman's office to uh, make sure that we were compliant before we opened. So what we've done is we've had um, limited tea time. So originally we started off, we were at 15 minutes of tea time when generally we're, we start at 10 minutes of tea time. So that means that golfers would go off every 15 minutes rather than every 10. So it really limited the number of golfers that were on the course when we first opened. That restriction has been lifted, but we've still maintained 12 minute tea times to ensure that we keep the distance between the different groups as they're golfing. Golf carts are now available for golfers. And what we do though, is we sanitize them. We have an electronic sprayer that sprays them and disinfects them before and wash them down before the next party will take them. And we also just allow one rider in the cart unless they are from the same household. So we've done a variety of different things. We've also, when you go out and you play the course, um, you know, there'll be rakes and the, there's no rakes in the sand traps because we don't want, you know, individuals, multiple individuals touching the same um, apparatus. So we do that as well. Also the pins and things of that nature stay permanently in the hole. And we have like an automatic elevator that you just lift with your, your uh, golf club, you lift it up and you get the ball out. So everyone's not touching, um, you know, the same surfaces. So we've done a lot of different things to ensure that people are safe, you know, from spacing out things to ensure that we're constantly cleaning and to also remove, you know, items that multiple people could be touching. You know, we've also just, you know, done a lot of PPE with our staff and also hand sanitizers throughout the facility to ensure that people can constantly, uh, you know, maintain uh, clean hands throughout their, uh, you know, throughout the day. So we've done a lot of different things with, you know, obviously cleaning inside as well, bathrooms and things of that nature. We've, you know, we used to clean them, you know, thoroughly, but we also do, you know, sanitize them on a weekly basis as well. Coming up on our 100th anniversary in 2022, the course was built in 1922, so we're coming approaching that centennial very shortly. So I think it's the history and the part and how it's such a part of the community is uh, what makes it special. You know, you've got a great history here. Some you know legendary people from Babe Ruth and Arnold Palmer and, and uh, Gary Player have played here. So you've got a, a, a rich history, um, you know, for the course and the course is recognized, you know, as a uh, premier municipal public golf course. facility the course is really what I think obviously brings people back I mean we have people come all from all over you know to play from New Hampshire and you know Central Mass they, they come here because we do have such a great reputation the grounds crew the golf superintendent here Jake Silver and the head pro Chris Riley and Mike Libby they they all do a great job to ensure that people feel welcome but also you know the grounds crew just does a wonderful job always maintaining the course and in, in great shape I mean the course gets a significant amount of play we do about 30,000 rounds in a normal year and which is a is a very high volume golf course but at the same time we're able to maintain a, a level of quality out on the course and that's due to the hard work of our staff. course is a golf course that we do maintain it year round that we have it uh, open you know 12 months a year unless there's snow on the ground so you know people do come out here and play and you'll be surprised at how many people play in like a 25 degree day but we do have people out there playing last year for instance a very mild winter we had a very busy uh, winter uh, with you know members being out there and and you know people coming from Again, because we're one of the few courses open over the winter, we had people coming from all over to play. Uh, you know, like the simulators, we have three simulators where you can get lessons all year round in the simulators and the technology is, allows you to kind of see how your swing is and really kind of focus on the areas and attention to what you need to do to improve your game. We have two great pros that will help you there. We have Chris Riley and Mike Libby, uh, the teaching pro as well, who will, you know, work with you to improve your game. So we have the simulators that are open from late October through March. And and then, you know, if you do want it, we will work with you to open them up, but that's when they're generally open. And then we also have the bowling alley right now. The bowling alley is closed due to COVID, um, but we're, you know, slowly looking to open things up as we're allowed to from the, you know, with state regulations. We 
have group lessons for kids, for children. We keep them very small due to COVID restrictions. Uh, we didn't have the camp here this year because of the COVID restrictions, but what we do have is, you know, the clinics going on. We also have ladies nights on Wednesdays and Thursday nights. It's been a, a great thing. You know, we get, you know, 30, 40 people and we always have you know, COVID restrictions in mind. So we keep people separated, socially distanced. If you went down to the driving range, you would see that, you know, we have, instead of the 10 bays that we normally have, we only have five. We've, we, you know, we've removed mats and things of that nature so that we, uh, you know, can keep people separated. And what we will do is like on those different um, nights, we'll rotate, whether it's children, to keep them separated, we'll rotate them from different uh, disciplines. So they'll be doing working on the driving range and then they'll be going to um, the chipping area that we do have and also the putting area. So they're kind of rotating groups that allow for social distancing um, at the same time being able to instruct, you know, five people at a time, six people at a time. So the driving range is open all the time. So people come up here and work on their game. We have a full chipping area and as well as a, a large putting green. And we have a couple of instructors that are, are wonderful that uh, help out with the uh, head teaching pro, Mike Libby. And then we, uh, you know, we have multiple offerings. So if they go to our website, you know, you can find what the right uh, class is for the age and your, uh, your child's ability. Because we have everything from beginning to the intermediate to advanced. And as you get into advanced, we can do even private lessons with your, uh, your, your child as they learn to love the game. Depends on what level you're at and you know what you need to work on so obviously individual lessons would be more on like you know your, your swing and kind of really tweaking your swing then that would be more something that would be more individual but as you're doing group lessons or you know clinics you know with with five or six other people um, what you would do is you would rotate from each discipline so you'd start off and they would teach you how to swing so you can get your swing down and then what we would do is kind of after you you know hit balls and you're working on your game there then you would go over the chipping area which is the short game you know and chipping balls and things of that nature and then putting which you know is the final part getting the ball and teaching you how to putt so it kind of breaks down the game from the long game getting off the tee up into the fairway from the fairway to like the green getting on the green and then you know working on your uh, you know your putting and things like that to finish out the game so it breaks down the game into those three disciplines and then they work with you on each of those to uh, improve and get you a, a foundation so that you can grow your game. has had some structural issues where it's, it's to the point where the, the life of that building is not you know much longer so from a safety standpoint we need to look to the future to allow our employees to have a safe working environment so we're developing um, a plan that will basically take care of that building a maintenance area a, a, um, an area also another building that will have uh, space to have all our equipment we just spent half a million dollars last year on equipment so we want to make sure that we take care of that for the long term and also the golf carts and things of that nature so we have a lot of equipment so we're going to build a storage area that we're able to keep our equipment indoors all year and then also an environmental center that we will have as well which the environmental center would be basically to wash down the vehicles an area to, to store um, the fuel for the, the equipment and then at the end of it as well keeping um, all the chemicals and things like that that we use to treat the, uh, the you know the, the turf and the turf maintenance that they would be stored properly as well so those are kind of the three elements of it that's the the, the maintenance part of the building so over here on my to my left is where the pool is so you have the pool and the pro shop so the pool obviously is another portion of that so there's really two different projects going on one is the maintenance building in that area and then the second thing is that we got the design money from the, the uh, from the community preservation fund we got the money from them to, and the town voted that back in June for allow us to do the design. So we're in the process of designing using the 500,000 that was allocated to us to design a pool that would replace this pool on the premises of the South Shore Country Club. So the pool would be basically kind of a replacement of this pool. It would probably be about a $6 million project when all done, including design. It would be full bathhouse and things of that nature, all brand new. And we're gonna keep that probably over at the tennis courts is the location that we're looking at it. By putting it there, we're gonna be able to keep our learning center with the, the green and everything else intact. Um, and that also does another thing where it kind of segregates the golfers from the, the pool use. So I think it makes the, you know, the, it makes the uh, footprint of the facility a little bit safer by separating them out. So you have less traffic over at the golf course. You don't have, you know, the kids running in between the cars and the golf carts and everything else. You know, we're really excited 
about having you know that portion of the project done as well. So this part of the building is about 70, 75 years old at this point. It really is an older infrastructure. So it's like the pool is something that has just reached its end of its life. And you know, we need to move on from that. Appreciate Harbor Media coming out here to kind of showcase the course. It's a great, um, you know, asset to the town and the community. And you know, we're really welcome to have you. Check our website. You can get a tea time anytime on our website. And uh, just want to appreciate, you know, my staff. I thank my staff and appreciate how much work they do throughout the year to make sure that everyone has, you know, a uh, enjoyable and safe experience. You know, all our guests uh, enjoy themselves, but are also able to be safe and. You know, I want to thank all our guests too, because people have been very good as far as responding to us, you know, requesting that they keep their social distance, you know, make sure that they, you know, they leave the parking lot right away and things of that nature. Everyone's been very good, very cooperative, and we appreciate uh, everybody's cooperation. And I want to thank you and invite everyone to come up here and see the South Shore Country Club. Mm -hmm.